Hello everyone. Today we'll be doing mathematics activity of class plus two. Let's get started. Activity number one. Objective of this activity is to verify the relation R in the set L of all the lines in a plane defined by L is related to M such that L is perpendicular to M is a symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive. So material required are you need a color sheet, pencil, scale and a favicol. Prerequest knowledge. You know the definition of equivalence relation and also you know the properties of parallel and perpendicular lines. Now how to demonstrate this activity? Now you have to draw few lines, say L1, L2, L3 and so on, L8 on a colored sheet. See the left hand side of a sheet. These are the few lines which are parallel, which are perpendicular and either they are intersecting lines. Now you see L1 is perpendicular to each line L2 L3 and L4. Also, L6 is perpendicular to L7. These two lines are perpendicular. Next, L2 is parallel to L3. L2 is parallel to L3. And L3 is parallel to L4 and L5 and L8 are parallel. These two lines are also parallel. Now you see there is a relation between L1 and L2 and L1 is also related with L3. L1 is also related with L4 and L6 is also related with L7. So in each of these cases, these L1, L2, L1, L3, L1, L4 and L6, L7, they are perpendicular to each other. Now you see uh, so many lines on the left side of a sheet. So observation part, you will verify the relation R in the set L of all the lines in the plane defined by R is L is related to M such that L is perpendicular to M is symmetric but neither reflexive nor transitive. Now you see any of the line on the left hand side, no line is perpendicular to itself. Take an example of any line. Let us take L4. Is L4 perpendicular to itself? No. We can say that N, no line is perpendicular to itself. So we can say that a relation R is not reflexive in each of the cases. So in order to verify the symmetric part, let us take an example of two lines which are perpendicular. First of all, we will take L1 and L2. L1 is perpendicular to L2. Can you say L2 is perpendicular to L1? Yes, it is perpendicular. So we can say that L1 is related to L2 and L2 is related with L1. Take, a, take another example, L3 and L1. L3 is perpendicular to L1. Yes. Is L1 perpendicular to L3? Yes, we can say these two lines are perpendicular. So L3 is related with L1 and 
L1 is related with L3. Let us take one more example. Pick two lines L6 and L7. L6 is perpendicular to L7. And now we can say L7 is perpendicular to L6. So L6 is related to L7. L7 is also related with L6. So in each of these cases, the symmetric part is well defined. So we can say that relation R is symmetric. So, so definition of symmetric A is related to B employs B is related to A is justified for each of these lines. So for transitive part, pick a line L2. This is L2 and L1. Now L2 is perpendicular to L1. These two lines are perpendicular, yes. And L1 is perpendicular to L3. These two are perpendicular. Now can you say that L2 and L3 are perpendicular? No, these two are not perpendicular. These two lines are parallel. So L2 is related with L1 and L1 is related with L3 because these are perpendicular. But L2 and L3 are not related with each other because they are not perpendicular. They are parallel. So definition of transitivity fails here. So we can say relation R is not transitive. So this activity can be used to check whether a given relation is an equivalence relation or not.